Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Anderson here in the WRL HD Weather Center. We had a beautiful day out there today. Those clouds were on the increase this afternoon and through this evening. 51 degrees is our current temperature at the airport, and those clouds definitely held off this morning and our overnight as well. So our temperatures were able to drop very, very low. We had temperatures mainly in all across the 20s, very cool in Roxborough at 21 degrees. Those clear skies also let us warm up through the day. We're currently sitting at 54 degrees in Irwin, 57 in Fayetteville, and 54 in Clinton. So quite a big jump from those low temperatures that we saw last night. The satellite and radar composite shows that subtle clearing this afternoon that let us um, warm up as well. But those clouds are on the increase because of this next system. You can see some of that rain that's just entering our western part of the state. And if we zoom out, we can see that the system is so large. It's spanning across the northern plains with blizzardy conditions. And then down south, we even have some severe weather that they are concerned with right now. And that's all associated with this low pressure system and a tr leading edge of the cold front. But right, that won't hit us until about Wednesday. So what's hitting North Carolina right now is actually the effects of this warm front. The warm front is bringing along that rain and warm temperatures. So those warm temperatures are going to make us rise throughout the night. We will see our low temperature hit us at midnight tonight. So we'll have a low of 48 degrees in Raleigh. And then as you can see, those temperatures will be on the increase. And by 10 a.m., we will see about 59 degrees as well. So along with those temperatures comes the rain with that warm front. We will see that rainfall hit us about midnight tonight. It's going to linger on and stay with us through the morning commute hours as well. And then by lunchtime, those showers should become a little more scattered. We'll see a little more spread out, but we could have a chance for rain as well. But then by the evening hours, by your evening commute, that rain will move offshore. We'll still see some cloud cover, but we will not need to worry about any of the rain when you're on your way home from work. Tuesday morning on through Tuesday, it'll dry out. It's not until Tuesday evening we'll see the effects of that cold front that's behind the warm front. So we see more of that cloud cover across the state as well as that rain chance um, to the south of us. So overnight tonight, those temperatures remain mainly close to 50 degrees and that chance for rain. Our southern portions of the state might hear a thunder or two for you to look at. And then tomorrow, those temperatures will be very warm because of that push of the warm front and those rain chances will also remain across the state. So Monday into Tuesday, those nice temperatures in the 60s, but by Wednesday, that high temperature is going to drop with that passage of the cold front. And then after that, Thursday, Friday, and all through the weekend is a nice setup. Happy Tuesday to you, Wolfpack. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Anderson here in the NCSU Weather Center. Our days can be rather chilly to start off with today. 32 degrees for our morning class. And then as we go on through the day, those clouds are going to be on the increase. It's not until after lunchtime we will have a chance for some rain. And it's going to be rather gusty, wind gusts of about 20 miles an hour, so very chilly. And those temperatures will be slowly be on the rise. It's not until about after 4 o'clock today we'll see a high temperature of about 52 degrees. Our current surface map shows a lot of that rain is situated to the north and east of us. We do have some northwesterly winds. So that's, these winds are coming from the north and bringing in a lot of that cold and dry air that we'll see today. There's also these lines of constant pressure that are in white. And the closer they are together, that means that it's going to be rather windy. So it's going to be very breezy and cold. So wear your layers for today and bundle up when you're headed to class. Tonight, temperatures are not going to be very warm at all. It's going to still, very, still be very cold for this time of year. 32 degrees is your low temperature. There is a slight chance for some rain, but overall it'll be mainly cloudy and cold as well. For tomorrow, our, our surface map shows that front, cold front, that's situated off the coast here, and that's bringing along a lot of that rain still off to the coast, so nothing to worry about for Raleigh. We'll have a little more sun than clouds from what we will have today for tomorrow, but it'll still be rather windy, and we'll still have winds coming in from the north, so it'll still be that constant inflow of those northerly winds. So for tomorrow, we should reach a high temperature of 54 degrees, a bit warmer 
than what we'll have today, but still make sure you do bundle up, even though we'll have a little more sun than clouds for that day. Our spring holiday is coming up and it's going to be rather nice, a little bit cooler than what we should have at this time of year, but we will still see those warm, that warming trend. So we'll have warming, warmer temperatures for that week, still unseasonably cold, as I mentioned, and there will be more sun all across the state. So if you're headed to the western part or the eastern part of the state, we should see, still see a lot more sun. And there will be a chance for some spotty showers near the end of the holiday. So when you're headed back to Raleigh, just be careful for that um, on the road. So our five-day forecast shows the constant temperatures mainly in the mid to lower 50s. It's not until about the end of our week we'll start to see a little more sun than clouds. Here's on Friday, we'll start to increase our temperatures into closer to the upper 50s. And then Saturday, we'll see temperatures in the lower 60s. And that's going to continue on into Sunday and bring along that chance of rain. Thanks for sticking to Wolfpack. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Anderson here in the NCSU Weather Center. That sun is just beginning to set, but that has not affected any of our temperatures. We are still above 60, 61 degrees at the airport right now, and that is quite representative across the state. We're mainly in the low to mid 60s across North Carolina. 57 in Roxborough and 50 in Hoskey are the cooler temperatures we see at this moment. So yesterday, we were 20 degrees cooler than what we are today. So today, we really, really warm up, and we can see that is very widely spread across the state. So a wonderful day for us to enjoy on Sunday. And we can even see those clouds moving out of our area in that satellite picture. There was a trace for some rain that was found in Fayetteville as well. So zooming out of our picture, we can see that a lot of the rain that we're going to see tomorrow is situated down south here in the deep south. And that's with this low pressure system across Texas and the stationary front that's going to actually move rather quickly into North Carolina and spit out a lot of rain. So that system is going to be quite moist once when it hits us and we can see our first big chance for rain is going to be tomorrow morning around 8 o'clock and then by lunchtime it's going to be covered all across North Carolina. Overnight tonight, it's going to be rather cold, so make sure you bundle up. 38 degrees for your low in Raleigh, 40 degrees in Fayetteville, and tomorrow it's going to be the same kind of story as it will be tonight. Very cold and rainy and muggy, so make sure you do bundle up. Tomorrow morning, it'll be about 40 degrees with the cloud cover and rain. It's not going to let our temperatures warm up much by lunchtime. It'll still be 40 degrees, and so as you can see, our daytime high for tomorrow is only going to be a 41 degrees and even colder in Roxborough at 39 degrees. That rain is finally moving out of our area. It's mainly concentrated in the eastern part of the state and right now it's still mainly dry in our western and southern counties. Our next system though is headed even closer to our way. Right now it's over the Appalachian Mountains bringing along some of that the lightning and severe weather. However, it will lose intensity once when it reaches North Central North Carolina, so we don't need to worry about any of the severity or lightning, just the rainfall for Tuesday. So those rain chances have been quite heavy, and as you can see, Raleigh, we reached almost three quarters of an inch, right about an inch in South Hill as well. So a lot of heavy rain, and a lot of that rain right now is still situated over the eastern part of the state, and so that's going. those rainfall amounts are going to increase as the night goes on. High temperatures today were very, very chilly. We only got up to 43 degrees in Raleigh and 45 degrees in Fayetteville. And right now, those temperatures have dropped from that high temperature, 38 degrees right now in Raleigh. And as you can see, the 24-hour change has been very, very cold. And we'll see a slight warm-up for tomorrow once when that rain gets out of here and we start to see a little more drying out of the atmosphere. 